Okay, this is a video of a 1 350th scale Arleigh Burke Flight 2A class, Aegis class destroyer. The United States has built 41 of these and seven more approximately, or six more will be built, 48 altogether uh, will be built. The difference between the Flight 2A and the Flight 1 and Flight 2 is mainly back here in the aft section where this uh, destroyer has a landing pad and hangar for two Seahawk helicopters, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, in order to do that, it had to sacrifice uh, a few... Uh, vertical launch missiles. This ship carries 96 vertical launch cells, uh, which is more than any of its contemporaries uh, uh, from other countries outside of the cruisers built by uh, uh, the Russians back in the 80s, and the Sejong class, uh, uh, and the Ticonderoga class built by the U.S. The Sejong class is from South Korea. But there are 48 of these ships. These vertical launch cells that you see here can carry all types of weapons. Everything from uh, submarine launched anti-submarine warfare rockets to evolved sea sparrows, which four will fit in each of these cells. So it can carry a lot of those. Uh, the main thing that it would carry would be standard missiles and there's four or five different types that it would carry. Those are anti-air missiles like the ESSM, which is also an anti-air missile with a shorter range. The ESSM being approximately 40 to 50 miles, while the standard missile can go anywhere from uh, 60 to 70 uh, out to almost 200 miles, depending on what you're shooting at. It can carry the uh, ballistic missile defense missiles which can shoot down ballistic missiles which would be coming in from the lower regions of space you know well above a hundred thousand feet uh, two missiles coming in at wave top at multiple mocks uh, the extended range uh, uh, standard missile, SM missile, has a range of upwards of 200 plus miles. And that's for just normal normal missiles, not ballistic missiles, and 110,000 foot uh, altitude range. So harpoon missiles can be carried by this uh, ship as well. Uh, we use them all the time in attacking surface targets uh, so, uh, harpoon missiles can have ranges that vary the tactical, har uh, excuse me, not harpoon, uh, uh, the Tomahawk missile. The Tomahawk missiles have ranges anywhere from four or five hundred miles out to over a thousand, uh, depending on what you're attacking. The land attack cruise missiles, uh, the tactical, uh, the, the uh, Tomahawk 4 tactical missile uh, can be used to shoot at uh, surface targets on the ocean. It ranges up to and over 500 miles. Uh, so this is a very powerful ship, and the United States has a lot of them, and it uses them for anything from uh, individual uh, duty uh, all the way up to the protection of aircraft carriers uh, and aircraft carrier strike groups and the protection of uh, amphibious assault groups or uh, amphibious ready groups or amphibious ex expeditionary groups. And uh, as I said, before it's all said and done, the United States will have built 48 of these. The earlier ones that did not have this hangar back here, 28 were built. Otherwise, they had very similar capabilities. And so that's like 76. Now this dual... Uh, Hangar is very important because having two helicopters allows this ship to prosecute submarine targets that it finds around the clock without stopping until it puts them down. 
uh, whereas a destroyer with only one helicopter would be limited by the fuel range and the uh, ability for that helicopter to remain on target because of its fuel capacity, whereas these can swap out uh, and continue prosecuting it. It's very powerful uh, in that regard. As I say, uh, this particular destroyer and the ordnance it can carry and its Aegis uh, battle management system and radars, which have been continually upgraded since these ships were built, have made this arguably the most effective and powerful destroyer in the world. And uh, the Block 3 version of this will be the same as the Flight 2, except for a couple of things. It will have a larger uh, aperture radars, as you can see them here. The ones on the Flight 3 will be significantly larger, which will give it longer range and better discrimination of targets uh, down to the sea skimming level of incoming missiles. And uh, whereas this ship full load is about a 9,600 ton vessel, the Flight 3 will be approaching 10,000 tons. The only thing the United States has in terms of a surface combatant that lar is larger is the Ticonderoga class. And we'll show you one of those as well. Uh, the Ticonderoga class, uh, there are 22 of those vessels and they are command ships and they carry 128 vertical launch cells with all the same capabilities that I just mentioned. Uh, very important on this ship is the ability to carry those ESSM because they can take 10 of the 96 uh, missile cells and have 40 ESM, ESSM uh, missiles that are very accurate, very capable and have ranges up to 40 or 50 miles. So they establish several layers of defense. Of course, the ship also carries a close-in weapons system and normally will be in conjunction and, and perhaps have uh, U.S. frigates with it. And we'll do a missile on the, I mean, we'll do a video on those alone at some point. But this is the USS Lassen. It's a trumpeter class uh, trumpeter model and what's so nice about the trumpeter is they are so very uh, detailed as you look at this ship you can see the level of detail that the ship comes with I have uh, um, loaded this ship up with the aftermarket uh, detailing so you can see the the railing that has been added to this ship to make it realistic. The photo etch uh, sensors that it has, uh, as well as enhanced uh, 20 millimeter guns and 20, excuse me, 25 millimeter guns. And uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty impressive, impressive ship uh, when you come and think about it. So this is the Aegis class. Now very quickly, just for a couple of minutes, I'm going to compare it to the nearest uh, Chinese equivalent ship that is out, which is the Type 52D. Uh, the Chinese built six Type 52C vessels that are uh, uh, out plowing the waves. Those carry 48 vertical cells, and they are round cells that are what is called cold launch. That means they are ejected out of their cell uh, by compressed gases, and then their rocket engine kick kicks in and they take off. When the Chinese built the Type 52D, which I am now putting in place, you can see that it is very similar uh, to the Aegis class vessel. Virtually the same length, not quite as wide, and the electronics aren't as heavy. So this ship that the Chinese have will displace close to 8,000 tons full load, maybe a little more. And you can see their vertical launch missiles 
Their vertical launch missiles, there's 64 cells, so it's significantly less missiles uh, available through vertical launch. They are hot launch cells like the U.S. cells, uh, and they have now uh, both anti-submarine warfare, anti-air warfare, and anti-surface warfare missiles that they can launch, uh, but not the variety that the United States carries. That's the type 52D uh, destroyer. Very good destroyer, good looking destroyer, good lines. Uh, one big difference, and it's a critical one, is their hangar, as you can see, only allows for the single helicopter. So they can't prosecute a submarine that they might find the way the United States can without having another ship available. Whereas the Burke class can prosecute around the clock uh, with its two helicopters uh, with a single uh, uh, destroyer because each destroyer has two helicopters attached to it. But I did want to compare the Type 52D, which the Chinese have launched to this date uh, fairly rapidly, I might add, 17 of these ships. It's thought that they're going to launch a total of 25 of them, and they may launch more. And they have, like I said, six of the Type 52C. So they've got about 23 or four fairly decent and strong escorts for their carriers. They have two carriers now, whereas the United States, of course, has 11 nuclear carriers. The United States with the J, uh, F-35B uh, ship uh, has an additional capacity to make its 10 LHD and LHA amphibious assault ships into escort carriers. Please see the video of one of those in one 350th scale that I put out with a full F-35C air wing on it. So, here again you have, oh and by the way, the, the Chinese are building a Type 55 vessel that I'll do a video of as well uh, when I get the two ones that I've just bought that have the full hull. I did a video of a uh, surface level, you know, ship of the Type 55, but I would like to show the entire, the entire hull. Uh, they have built four of those, and they're going to build quite a number more. They expect to build at least 20 of those vessels. So they're going to end up with 45 or 50 very decent escorts. When the United States is all said and done, with 22 and a total of close to 100 uh, destroyers, there will be 122 uh, large destroyer or larger class combatants to uh, protect the United States carriers and large amphibious ships. So let me remove this uh, Type 52D out of the way and we'll finish off with a good picture of the uh, Lassen, USS Lassen, DDG-82 Trumpeter class uh, ship in 1 350th scale. This is Jeff Head. Thanks for watching the channel. Hope you will subscribe to it and pass it on to your friends if you have interest in model building or naval information, modern navies. Thank you again. Bye-bye.